Welcome back to season two, episode one. Catherine, can you imagine it's already been an entire season? Boy, did that go by fast. And I am just thrilled at how our audience is expanding, that there are more people that are spiritually hungry and want to wake up and join us on this path. That's a wonderful thing. What do you think? I agree with you. It seems like everywhere I go, even though nobody knows that I'm on this podcast, they still come up and uh, mention words about different spiritual things or past lives or, or death experiences, or it just seems to be in the environment out there, this entire spiritual concept. What is that noise? Do you hear that noise, Charlie? Is it me? Is it a, like a shush? No, it's a... It's not like... It's not this? No, it's a... I did take a drink. Uh -uh, it's an electrical noise. It's like... There it is. It's like... It's almost like a screeching, but not quite. Can you make sure that your connections are tight? And Charlie's going to check my connections too. Well, listeners, Clovistia has channeled some information for us. Last season, we talked a little bit about the reason that she's here. Her and I do have a sacred spiritual contract for me to do this for her. And in that line of thinking, she has channeled specifically the reason why she's here. So with the permission of our listeners, I will share with you the channeling that she's just given me. The next thoughts that you hear will be from Clovistia. You may feel or be aware of an energy, frequency, or vibration that is affecting all human beings and everything around you, including this planet. Your cells, DNA, human body, animals, mammals, fish, insects, water, space, planets, the sun, moon, clouds, trees, rocks, colors, air, light, etc., everything has a frequency. There is a profound awareness of divine frequency that ripples through the entire universe and space-time compendium. This divine vibration causes the entire universe to move the tiniest amount that seems so imperceptible, yet is the greatest proof to humanity of the divine source because it can be measured. Your awareness of the capabilities of the divine source is critical to your genuine acceptance of truth in the divine's ability to heal this planet. God, the divine source, has been aware of the toxicity for millennia and has now determined to create a new divine healing frequency to share on this planet at this moment for all of humanity in a massive cosmic effort. New and old souls, past entities, elders from other planets, angels in all dimensions, universes, galaxies, star systems, and territories. Your presence in some form is crucial right now to join the war for this planet that has now risen to an apex that cannot be ignored and despite intervention may not be stoppable. You have been born to hear my words so you may answer this spiritual call to unite against the toxic evil that is threatening this beloved planet. It is no accident that you were born at this critical time and place. Your current frequency may be aware of the existing toxic level currently controlling humanity with egos, lies, evil, hate, 
war, destruction, fear, which may obstruct or detour you from your quest. And powerful humans may lead you down a lost maze of confusion because evil and hate are battling with love and truth to gain control of humanity on this planet. These opposing factors harbor extreme differences similar to oil and water, lies versus truth, hate versus love, peace versus war, hope versus fear, help demonstrate one cannot exist without the other. You cannot know love without hate, nor fear without hope. Positivity and love must prevail. It is time to create your own personal intention to join with the other spiritual warrior forces, because it will take all of us. Intent and intention are extremely specific. It involves free will, and you may decide to join our effort based on your love of planet Earth. Because when you intentionally connect with the divine source, it creates a path in a very intrinsic way that radiates through every tiny cell and DNA within you. It facilitates a direct connection on a dedicated conduit to the divine source so that your connection, which is so profound, facilitates your ability to acquire the healing frequency created specifically for this effort. If you have the intent to accept and share the healing, you may have a natural desire to surround yourself with other people, thus creating a higher synergy of healing to build upon and grow as it is spread to heal the vast toxicity all around the planet. As you walk into the energy field of others, the healing frequency may radiate through them and they may share to others, and so on, and so on, until that circle of interconnection of healing frequency surrounds our beloved planet as we are joined together as spiritual warriors to assist humanity in this quest and challenge that must be won at all costs. That is Clovistia's message. This is Grace. I'm Grace Starr, again, uh, to go ahead and continue this conversation. I would really like to say that there was that high-pitched squealing um, in the background when you were talking quite a bit. Did you hear that, Charlie? Yes. What is okay. that? I didn't hear it at it all. It sounded like a frequency. <laughs> 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 So, listeners, you may have heard this sort of high-pitched noise in the background every now and then as Grace was getting ready to move into sharing Clovistia's words and during the sharing of the words because Clovistia is very present with her. So this is sort of an affirmation or confirmation of Clovistia being in her energy field because that frequency kept emanating coming through. We had, you know, our IT guy, Master Charlie there, check out to see if there's any other cause and there is none. And he even said, it's a frequency. So I just want to let our listeners know that it's not some type of a recording Error, but that was Clovistia's energy being in Grace's presence. Well, listeners, now we're in season two, and now we're going to get more to the heart of it the reason why she's here and what we can do as individuals. And also, there's other aspects on a very, very personal level that you can do as well to help with this particular problem. And that's the whole purpose of our podcast. 
The following special frequency was channeled by Clovistia and the Divine Source. Because it may permeate your original frequency, so it can be adapted to the new healing frequency that is needed, please join forces with us. Listen to the sound and connect to the planet. Feel the sound of healing. Our planet has a harmful and toxic frequency around it. When humans join together as one, the healing frequency will reverberate through your auras and resonate like an envelope around the planet to begin healing the toxic frequency. Humans all over the planet have great power when joined together. Imagine if 8 billion souls truly believe that their action can make a difference. Take a few moments to experience this healing frequency. Thank you to all of our listeners. If you have enjoyed our frequency journey today, please share it with your family and friends. Make sure to visit us at clovistia.com or you can follow us on Instagram and Facebook where we have about a million followers over there. Until next time, please share your frequency.